Rihanna. The story is saying she has patched up things with her father as they were seen at a festival over, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, or it's over the weekend, I don't know. But the there's a picture of them yeah. surfaced online. But in my head, I'm thinking, picture, does that really stop anything? My darling, you just read my mind because at the end of the day, <laughs> I was like, okay, these are public figures. Mm -hmm. They have um, a reputation to protect in as much as they're in court. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't want the court of public opinion where people just come out and say different things. So you don't expect, and one thing I also want to make clear, there are two situations where we are not supposed to interfere. We're doing our job because this is a story we have to talk about mm. and it's in the headline, right? But you never interfere in relationship matters and family, family. matters. Mm. Because when they say to, you will not be there. Mm. You cannot turn down your family because people are saying this, people are saying that. So if Rihanna has really patched things up with her dad, it's none of my business because that's a father, that's a person who brought her to life. Mm. So if he's able to explain that, okay, look, I've done you wrong, he has apologized and she has forgiven, we have no right to interfere in it. But we'd like to see the documents that states that she has rejoined the case though. Because uh, all we know is that the case went. You know, she. Yeah, she yeah, but she hasn't said anything yeah. about. I, I don't think anybody said anything about withdrawal. Yeah, not of yet. The case mm -hmm. at, that, yeah, time. So together. this, yeah, it was at an event. She was a. That's her father. So you, 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 you guys expect her to see her dad and be like, hi, and then move on. No, mm -hmm. she wouldn't. And do that. I don't, I don't think they even have that kind of relationship that she can see him publicly and ignore. Because most of her interview, even though she has always um, specified that yeah, her father beats her mom when mm. they were together but she um, she put him she has learned a lot from him mm. he's probably the mm. one that taught her all she that she knows today mm. so imagine that kind of thought that will not just because of my father is just i'm sure she knows the kind of father she has mm. she gets and the man is just trying to get money off her and all of that so it's not a big deal i feel she will withdraw the case I don't think she wants to take her father to court. And then I, I also looked at it from this angle that, okay, Rihanna is a public figure. She's a celebrated celebrity, right? Mm -hmm. And um, she has a management company. She, have, she has people that are in charge of her affairs. Mm. So it's not even necessarily Rihanna. It's not about what would, she feels. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessarily Rihanna that would say that, oh, take my dad to court. Now she's bounded by different contracts. Mm -hmm. These people feel that they, their contract has been violated. Mm -hmm. It's only right for them to take the necessary okay, legal you know, you know, actions, regardless whether it's your father, your mother, your brother, whoever it is. Rihanna now can now be like, ah, you guys should take it easy. Oh, this is my dad. You get but we're not getting that scoop of the gist. Mm -hmm. But what we get is that Rihanna is suing at that because mm -hmm. she has a legal representative. She has a contract that she's binded by. So obviously, things have to be done. Protocol has to take its course. Mm -hmm. And I, I read somewhere yeah, that she's suing him because he wants to use the Fenty name. Mm -hmm. And of that, that's actually his name. Mm -hmm. So I actually want them to go to court because I want to know no, what no, no. the court no, 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 had this no, conversation, yes, even it's if different. it's your name yeah. mm -hmm. and somebody else goes to trademark it first, you can't use it. This is not about names, it's about business. Like Blue Ivy. He was Ivy, able to actually Blue register Ivy. the company. Beyonce mm -hmm. has been able to trademark Blue, Blue Ivy. Ivy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, if you have a daughter tomorrow and you name her Blue Ivy and you want to start a company, you, you can't. You can't use Blue Ivy. I know. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You can't. So, it doesn't matter whether we're family members. If my name is Ifeolu Oritu and you have a company named Oritu & Co, mm -hmm. I cannot go and use Oritu & Co. Co. ever mm -hmm. again. Do you understand? Like, yeah. it is just the rule it is the rule of law and you have to just follow that mm. process so regardless whether it's your father is my last name but who we'll trade mark the name first mm. me right mm. so it's my it's my trademark i so think the court airing is next year 2020 man before that next year lots will happen <laughs> <laughs>